right, this is examples of components in Swift2XNA. These are just some components we use. They might give you some ideas for making games yourself. Feel free to use these in any way you see fit. Um, you can get these from the components download uh, section and ideally we'll be expanding these as time goes by. All right, here's a look at the Visual Studio. You can see we have the actual components in the components directory um, and they're all um, fairly separate. Some of them will involve a little bit of uh, work in the class and then below we have the screens where they appear in. So um, for example the the player component will or the player component will appear in the player screen, etc. Okay. Um, and as you can see we have uh, here here's an example of the screen component or the screen component demonstrating the component and then the component itself. All of these are uh, instantiated in the game one file. All right, let's have a look at the actual components here. Um, this is the crusher component. It's just a simple gear mechanism that makes the crusher go up and down. These components also did have sound, but um, we removed that for now um, just to keep the libraries a little simpler, but it's only commented out can, so you can see where to add and remove the sound. To navigate these examples you can either use the controller and use the A to go forward and B to go back on a on a Xbox controller or you can use the arrow keys. Um, so we'll go to the next one. Here's a, a swing and uh, these also can be controlled with the mouse as you can see I'm lifting this with the mouse exposing the fact that it's not exactly true rope there. All right. This is an elevator that goes up and down. We call this a mover because it doesn't just have to be an elevator. Of course, anything that moves forward or backwards on the screen can be um, can be used. And uh, if you look at this one actually in the flash file, this may be a good one to look as an example. Um, you can see that there's three frames here. One def first frame def defines the initial position of whatever moves. Second frame defines the um, minimum, and the third frame defines the maximum. Okay, let's go to the next example. Here's a trampoline example. It's just a bunch of circular things bouncing on trampolines and again the um, mouse can be used. Here's a trap door. As soon as the circle hits the signal, the signal opens the trap door and something falls. Next is a teleporter, just demonstrating how you can actually move something from one place to another um, in a kind of hard-coded way, non-physics way. Um, it hits the teleporter and it teleports out to a different area of the screen. Here's a pendulum. It will go back and forth forever, um, perhaps for a clock application. A seesaw, self-explanatory. Here's um, a conveyor belt system. Uh, it uses a class called treadmill and uh, anything, anytime anything touches this it will go in the left direction or the right direction. Um, here is a turnstile. A turnstile can turn one way and not the other. As you can see when things go uh, from the left it won't turn and if they go from the right it will. And of course that can be configured to go in either direction. Here's a simple elevator, much like a, a mover but slightly more complicated behavior. Um, here is something that actually requires a controller to uh, demonstrate. Um, it's just a, a person that walks around, um, so a player component. Perhaps you know you would want something like that in your game. At least it's the initial idea. And we have a few different elements in here for it to move around in. Um, here's another one that requires a controller. You use the left thumbstick to move the steam cannon up and down, and then the right trigger if you hold it in it will build up steam and if you let it go it will shoot off a cannonball. Um, this also demonstrates some particle effects and um, just various, it's a fairly complicated machine so if you want to look how that works in Flash um, you kind of get a good idea of the approach you would use. Okay, that's the components that there is for now. We'll have uh, more later. We certainly have a vehicle one on the way and uh, um, every time we make a game, we'll add the components to this library. If you have components of your own you make, please feel free to um, send them along and we'll see if we can get them up on the site. Thanks.